Sunday, May 30th. Um, pistons were in, crank were in yesterday, and uh, today I'm going to continue with the uh, valve train uh, chain assembly. Um, before I do that, I needed to fit the timing gear for the distributor. So I've done that a um, little fiddly. Um, I'm going to show you the end result rather than try and film all that while I was trying to do it. Quite tricky, to be honest, especially on my own. Anyway, so let me uh, show you what uh, the end result actually looks like. So this is the distributor drive shaft and obviously the drive from the, from the engine. Um, the, uh, um, this has got to be in the right place relative to the uh, crank uh, position and piston stroke. So uh, with, the, with piston number one and number six uh, at top dead center, the timing gear, the, uh, I'm not sure if you're gonna see. Yes, that drive for the distributor has to line up with this hole. So that slot coming across has to line up with this hole. So I have all of that done now and uh, I can reassemble the gearing on the front of the crankshaft. Um, as I say, a little tricky, just have to follow the manual. This is the uh, picture in the manual showing that position relative to that bolt hole. And um, we have it have it in now. A um, couple of things I wanted to point out from the build yesterday that I didn't do during the assembly um, is that you can see I've used um, you can see I've used marks on the bearing caps. I do that to make sure I have them the right way around when I'm assembling them. There are two stampings that relate to the cylinder. So this is cylinder five. Um, this is the lower bearing, well, upper bearing cap, I guess. And then this is the lower bearing cap. Um, uh, obviously the conrod is uh, bored out as an assembly and the two mating halves have to go back together the right way around. So that's why I use the two dots. Um, and then in addition to that, you can see, hopefully, yeah. You can see a berry cap position number five And then there's a bearing cap number five uh, here. And then that's how you know that you've got the right bearing cap on the right way around. Well, you can't get them the wrong way around because they're dialed differently across the engine, but the, you have the right bearing cap in the right place. And um, they're all basically like that. All right. So uh, that personally helps me with uh, um, uh, with assembling it correctly and um, uh, actually I, I had that uh, I got that that particular tip off uh, one of the videos that I watched I'll mention it during the uh, in, in the write up a bit later today so I'm always so nervous of getting these bits wrong so I've spent quite a lot of time just checking to make sure that I that I do have it right and as I say, now I'm going to uh, carry on our reassembly, reassemble the, the rest of the pieces that go on the end of the crankshaft. And uh, we'll fit the, uh, the, the timing chain assembly hopefully today. Um, yeah, it's coming. Both timing chains have been uh, cleaned up and the whole mechanism has been cleaned up. It's come up really good. And I'm going to fit that today. I'm going to actually video the installation, see how we get on with that. But um, this is what a refurbished unit looks like. It has new chains, uh, new guides. So there's an upper chain, which is this one, and a lower chain. Uh, there are guides that are on the side. 
This is a uh, quite a um, difficult process in assembling it, but um, uh, w uh, again, we'll, um, we'll there's uh, some good documentation in the handbook about how to actually do it. Um, we'll see how we get on with that. All right, it might take a couple of attempts. Um, <clears throat> we have new guides um, actually on the block itself. And um, the, the whole thing is ready for uh, the chain being dropped on. And then um, the mechanism is secured here um, in these bolts. So we hang the chain from the top, let it dangle, and then uh, we secure uh, these four bolts. See how we got on. I see why.
All right. cool there we go Okay, that's in. The next thing would be to fit the uh, chain tensioner, hydraulic tensioner that comes on the Jag. Um, and uh, I'll be doing that a little bit later. Then we will fit the file train cover and then we do the oil pump and oil pipes and put the sump on. That will then complete the bottom end. Looking very good. 